Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to it. Another episode of the Pitch Side Podcast. And the lineup, as usual, is amazing. River, yeah, midfield, Donna. Midfield. Yeah, okay. The midfield is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the show, Riva. No, I think thanks so much for having me. Thank uh, you for making time, man. Yeah, You're no, a busy man. Eh? Yeah, no, of course. Off day, so yeah, yeah <laughs> let's enjoy a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Riva, tell us, man, take us back. Where does it start for you, uh, football? Four. I mean, you're it's not been, that old. You can't say, oh, like you're not uh, <laughs> I started very early. Yeah. I've been in the game for a while now. No, yeah. but uh, back home, uh, Kakamas, nobody, a lot of people don't know where it is. They yeah. always ask me, where is it? Yeah. So I say Uppington because okay. it's, it's, it's close by, you know. So yeah. started uh, amateur, you know, very early. I think was 12, 13, playing yeah. in the in the Vodacom League. Yeah. With, with some big guys, you know, yeah. and I'm very small at that time. And I think that's why I'm, people think I'm older than what I am, because yeah. yeah. very mature. So I learned from very early age, you know. Mm. But also I had people that believed in me and yes. they always gave me the opportunities, you know, mm. to, to showcase do what you I think, have. Do you think that uh, playing with older people then developed you as a player and just as a human being? Yes, no, of, of course, definitely. Mm. Um, because at that time we had people, players coming from East London, yeah. Cape Town, you know, yeah. to come and play there. Maybe they just come for Easter tournaments yes. usually, yeah. you know, to, to strengthen the teams. Yeah. But then some of them, they, they, they stay yeah. after that tournament and then they stay to play in our domestic league. Mm. And, you know, and they just took uh, the level up and then you train with some of these guys, very good players. Yeah. Mm. And then... You know, you, you, you rub off on, on, on them, you know, to spend so much time with mature quality players, you know, you, you can only get better. And now playing with these tournaments and just going through, I mean, a lot of people will tell you about their development, having gone through a specific academy or school of excellence, et cetera. Where, where did it go for you? Uh, I actually played for the under-17 national team okay. before I went well, to Ajax. Amateur. Yes. Well, you still an amateur side? Yes. Oh, I was okay. playing for for Kakuma Sundowns. All right. So there was there was trials for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> so so we, there was trials for School of Excellence. Okay. In Springbok, mm. and uh, the late coach Mandla Mazibuko. Yeah. Yeah. He was the head coach at School of Excellence, mm -hmm. and he was the assistant coach of the under 17 national under team. 17, mm. yeah. So that's where he scouted me for School of Excellence, mm -hmm. but then he didn't want to take me there. He said, no, it's better I go to the under-17 national team. team. Mm. And that's where Ajax saw me. Sure. Now, does that not build pressure? I mean, uh, mm. a lot of the guys that mm. must have been playing under-17 were in academies and playing in bigger league, in bigger teams yeah. or so, and you go straight now to under-17. Yes, no, definitely. I mean, you, you get there... Uh, Players from Pirates, Super mm. Sports, Sundowns, Chiefs, you know, they come with the, with the team's track suits. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you feel out, you know, you, you're not in a, in a professional setup. Yeah. So there, there, there's a lot of pressure, yeah. you know, and then you have people back home who believe in you. Yeah. Mm. So you need to deliver on, on that front as well. So mm. pressure was always there, but I think that, that that's what made me the yeah. person that I am today, you know. And but also, I think I, know, I yeah. think a lot of things, a lot of a lot of the time that it's, there's something that we don't speak about as as footballers, or we don't maybe project it as mm. much. We we tend to move at, at an early age to different places. Mm. You move to Ajax in Cape Town, but speak at that yeah. early early age. We don't speak about the mental side of things. You leave yes. your friends and everything that you know behind. Yeah. You get to this new environment. The weather is different, and you still have to perform, knowing that you have to make it. What was what was it like at that time for you? Very tough uh, to live at that young age, live home. Mm. You have no family mm. that side, you know. Then there's a language issue also. Because mm. you, in school at, at home, it was African. Mm. Mm. Now I'm going to Cape Town. I have to change you know, all subjects are in English now. Sure. You know, so you have to adjust to that. Yeah. And then friends outside of 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 ix you don't have yeah 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 because you know, you're not from there yeah, yeah and yeah. and you don't like you don't want to move around too much because you know yeah. people always tell you know it's mm. dangerous and yeah, yeah. all that so you, you you start to 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 only build that friendship within the team academy yeah, yeah. within mm -hmm. the team but 
at the beginning it's also tough because now you you you're new yourself. and then now you have to prove yourself yeah. and then they're like okay because everywhere is the same you yeah, get there they're yes. like some might not like you you yeah. know they're trying to see okay do you fit in with us yeah like, are you one of us? Speaking yeah. about support, who who is your support base? Because for you to leave home, I mean, at a young age to go and play in Cape Town, and um, you need to have a very good, strong support base of sorts. Mm. Uh, when I talk to a lot of players, they speak about how you know you want to go home, but you know that there's a bigger picture mm -hmm. to look at, which yeah. is the end goal. Uh, my my parents have been massive in 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 that regard. Yeah, uh, my mother especially. Mm. You know, she's yeah, no, <laughs> not, not really. Uh, I, I, I grew up uh, a daddy's yeah. boy, you know, but yeah. uh, as I got older, yeah. you know, leaning more towards my, my mother. Yeah. Um, and then I have this one uncle of mine, yeah, Terry Kutsia, like he, he's been massive, yeah, you know, mm. he would. He would take me to trials, provincial trials, mm -hmm. even wherever it is, if it's three, four hundred kilometers away. Yeah. He would make sure that I am part of of that setup, you mm -hmm. know. Believed. So, yeah, and mm -hmm. that he always exposed me to, to to these opportunities, and you know, I'll I'll always be grateful to him mm -hmm. for that. And when did you see it? I mean, you as an individual to say, look, I'm t 12 years old, for example, playing with these older guys, but Ajax comes calling. Is that when you say, actually, I could make a career of this, or did you also just think, ah? I'll see how far this thing goes. Maybe I'll go to school. Maybe I'll do mm. something else. No, I've I've always wanted to play football. Yeah. Mm. I think if, if you can speak to my mother, she will tell you that yeah. I told her very early that this is what I want to do, yeah. you know, for, for a living. Because I've I've enjoyed it since I was very small. Yeah. You know, after school, sun can be how hot. Yeah. I will have there. a ball with me. <laughs> I will go get some friends. We are playing in the streets, you know. Yeah. Then you come home after sunset, yeah. you know, it, sometimes you get a hiding when you get <laughs> home. <laughs> it is you a know, must though. Yeah, no, like, yeah. <clears throat> so, so, so that was, that was what, what, what made me, you know, to, to fall in love with the game so much at, yeah. at an early age. And I think that has helped me also in my career so far. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I remember as well, just to maybe fast forward a little bit, when you came in, um, to start playing now in the professional setup, your first early games. And I remember as well, you were one of the youngest players to be called into the national yeah. team at the time. 17, I think you were. Ah. <laughs> and, and, and the stress was, who is this could see a Because you always wanted to see. And at the time yeah. you had Clifford and Gobe, and there was a lot of you guys yes. that were playing there. And what was interesting as well was how well you guys were coached. And now, if you look at then, yeah. how important it was from the IX team, mm -hmm tactically how matured you were then to become now can you please take me through the transition of bube now being a 16 year old being taken to the first team taken to the national team looking back at three four years ago you're an up and team <laughs> yeah. it dry, and then yeah. you come from also a place that nobody knows yeah yeah uh i, I was actually quite surprised by how quick the, the transition was mm. from academy to the first team yeah because I played in the academy, I think, for one year only. Mm. And then the second, it's six months after that, I trained with the first team, but still played, you know, league games yeah. with, the, with the under 19s. Mm. Yeah. So I had that exposure, you know, for at least that six months to be with, mm. with a professional team, like every day, mm. yeah. you know, to get that exposure. And I think that that is what, what, what has helped me, yeah. you know, to have that transition period yeah. and not just being thrown in there, mm -hmm. you know, so mm. obviously that also showed them like, it, is he ready, you know, mm -hmm. is he, is he going to add value to the, to the team? And then you have all these top professionals around, mm. we had Lance Davids, yeah. Dominic Isaacs, uh, Crenwell Scott, yeah. Nathan Paul, so all these guys, so you, you rub off on them, you know, you always asking questions, you too. know, how to improve and all that. And, but also the, the structure within Ajax, you know, in the academy, is you play the same way. Okay. As the first team? Yeah. Yes. Okay. From under 12 until the first team, it's nice. the same setup. Yeah. You know, uh, passing drills and all that, it, it will be the same mm. as mm. what we do. They will take it down, okay. you know, it's under 19, under yeah. 17, under 15. You will do the same. So the transition becomes a, a easier. little bit easier, oh. you know, mm -hmm. so... Makes sense. Yeah. Do you not feel that then playing, I mean, being the youngest one to move there, uh, forced you to grow up a lot quicker? 
and their stages maybe in the growing up that you missed? Yes, no, definitely. Uh, didn't have much of a, of, of a childhood. You know? <laughs> 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 no, I, I, retirement is no, going to be a party, man. You. So there, there, there wasn't much, there wasn't much time to have fun. Yeah, you know. But when you in the academy, you go home twice a year. True. So middle of the year and then mm-hmm. end of the year, mm-hmm. you, you get a chance to go home. So you enjoy a little bit with mm-hmm. the friends that you went to school with. Mm-hmm. You yeah. Know? But at the same time, it's it's not the same. Yeah. Because now I, I'm in a different. Set up, you okay, know, yeah. different. The mentality, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's different. different now because yeah, yeah, yeah. I have other responsibilities yeah, yeah, yeah. to them. They're worried about school, school in yeah. two weeks' time, whatever. <laughs> I, I'm not, you know, <laughs> I'm worried about uh, getting back to Cape Town and, yeah. you know, focusing on pre season again mm. to make sure we, we're ready and to improve and to make sure you, you step make the up. steps mm. up, you know, in, in mm. the academy. So when the call comes in for Bafana Bafana, Please paint the picture. Where are you? Who's speaking to you? Yeah. Who do you call first? That call. Say? What are that call? Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. I don't think anybody uh, can forget that call. Yeah. The first call, never. No, I, I was actually at training. Okay. Mm. At Ajax that time. Yeah. Uh, so we just finished training. And then the team was announced already. Yes. So the guys kept, kept on telling me, like, I'm in the squad. So I'm like, no way. Mm. It, it can't be, <laughs> you know. Because, yeah. I mean, you had so many yeah. very good central defenders at the time. Mm. Yeah. And then we had this perception of, you know, defenders, mm. you have to be tall, be tall and, 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 strong. and strong. Yeah, yeah. so I was like, okay, no, I'm, I'm not expecting a call-up, so I, I don't believe you guys. Yeah. So I went to check my phone. Wow. Mm. <laughs> It, it's really happening. Yeah. You know, first call was to my mother. Yeah. To tell her. No, you can't deny that you're a mommy's <laughs> boy. No. <laughs> yeah, because now I'm a little bit older, you know. So first call was to tell her, no, we, we, we've made it. But yeah. now the hard work starts. Yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes it's easier to, to make it there, but then to stay there and to mm. take the level even higher mm. is sometimes more difficult. <laughs> I, can, I can imagine the pressure as well at that age as well. Then you get to the national team. Who are you rooming with? Who has the first chat with you? Like, because I think those are the things that remain in your mind forever. Because mm. it's the first time you're coming there, and I guess then it was still the era where you got to keep the clothes. Okay. When you finish with national team. What? No. I get it now. They don't keep them. No, they never kept them. They never kept them. No. For what? I've got. You give them back. No I've got gear from mm. the yeah. confederations. Yeah, but you you no big tournaments. Cup. Yeah. It's a big tournament. tournaments. Big yeah. tournaments. Oh, okay. yeah. Friendly, so, you nah. take them back. Bring them yeah. back. Everything back, man. <laughs> Emra. Yeah. No, the jerseys you take. Them. Yeah, because yeah. if, if, if it's not your name, yeah. yeah. No, but, but if it doesn't have your name, back. No. Yeah, take you it give back. it back. Uh, uh, Chief, so, uh, let's remember, we haven't <laughs> won the World Cup. We're not playing there. We <laughs> sometimes points are here. Or not there. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so please. <laughs> no, it, it, it was tough, you know, going yeah. into camp because then you have all the things being said in the media mm. because then the players that they know and like mm. are not called up. Yeah. And mm. now this young kid is mm. yeah. called up. Mm. I'm the only one from Ajax. Mm. Mm. I get this. These guys are coming from Europe, the Chief. Serreros, uh, the late Anelis, yeah. you mm. know, some you play with late Senzo, mm. Tumeleng, mm. all these guys. So there, there is a bit of pressure, but because yeah. that I was still in my shell that time, yeah. you know, I'm just, mm. you know, quiet. I, yeah. I go about my business yeah. and then just, you know, try, try to, st- to stay competitive yeah. within that environment. I think that that was... The most important for me mm. is to, was to show in training every day you that see, I belong here. Yeah, you see, you speak about something that is so, so, so important. I, I think for me as well, I get a little bit per, touchy and personal about it. When you're saying the media now becomes a problem, not not in the sense of the problem, but they're highlighting because of they do have their own favorites. Now that their favorites course, are in the national yeah. team, mm. instead of celebrating you being a South African <laughs> player, at that age and yeah. we, sp- we we always speak about we need young players we yeah. need to say this but when it actually happens if they're not for you they'll yes. always make sure that the yeah. outfit yeah. you yeah. must hear us saying and, yeah. and at times man it just messes up with your mind it, mm. it really does it's a yeah. young player it does yeah. and i can just imagine at the time you're 17 you're reading about this thing instead of being celebrated in the national team yeah they sing but yeah we have names that could have been yeah yeah, yeah. you remember no, we spoke about how in in the different eras of of football um 
I remember we had a conversation with uh, Deco and he was saying the last, I mean, uh, when he had a coach, he had a hard coach where you couldn't approach him to say, actually, coach, I'm not feeling well. I can't step up for this game. Please mm. put somebody else on. Yeah. But now you're in an era where those open conversations are much more appreciated because then they say, at least you're not letting your teammates down. Mm. Now imagine yeah. as a 17-year-old going mm. to Bafana, <laughs> the media is against you, but mm. your family is like, yo, we're in it. We, yeah. you know, we're winning. Yeah. I can't imagine then who do you deal with because in that era as well, I don't think they had therapists or psychologists within the structure to be able to talk to and say, listen, take a deep breath. Mm. This is it. It's happening. Shut out the world and let's go. Yeah, look, oof, mentally it was it yeah. was tough, but also you you, you try not to show it mm -hmm. or tell people too much about it. Yeah. You know, at first you you try to to deal with mm. with all that mental toughness. You know, like okay, mm. um, I'm competing with these guys. Yeah. Sometimes that can also play a part. You of know, course. I'm I'm the youngest and I'm competing with. Masha Maite yeah. and, and Tawa. Mm -hmm. And at that time, their partnership at Chiefs was, Chiefs was, was thriving, yeah. you know. So sometimes you go with that mentality, I know I'm not going to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm not going to start because yeah. these two, they'll probably play. Mm -hmm. But then it's just about, you know, putting your head down and yeah. just grinding every day on the pitch, you know, to, to show them that I belong here and I'm going to make it tough for, for, sure. for you if you want to play. Yeah. before me mm. yeah. but i am here to put a little bit of stress it's you know? a lot of mental strength then that is yeah. needed to make it because um I, I i mean from a young age you move and after you've made this move now there's mm. a bigger move that happens and uh, now we move to the stage where um an international call comes in for you but the deal falls apart because of an injury <sighs> Still, it's it's still tough to talk about even yeah. to to this day. Yeah, I can imagine. but you know when when you have such an opportunity, yeah, you know to go to such a big club, yeah, and then for it to fall through at at, at the last minute, mm. you know, like I I thought about quitting after yeah. that because I'd, I I already signed the contract. Uh, mm. I spoke to the coach that time, Brendan Rogers. Yeah, mm -hmm. I spoke to him on the phone. Mm. You know, and and. The conversation we had, you know, I, I could see myself using that as a stepping stone yeah. mm -hmm. to go even even further. Mm -hmm. You know, you just gave me that confidence that I'm gonna come in and, and I'm gonna play and yeah. I'm uh, I'm gonna be big for him and the team and mm. and then for it to to fall through. Like I I still don't know exactly how yeah. I made it through that. You know, but I also think when Sundowns came in, yeah. It it helped a little bit yeah. to to make it better because I think if I had to stay at Ajax, or just after maybe that, a change of uh, change of yeah. scenery, scenery, well. scenery uh, maybe yeah. helps. But now, so you've have you never ever had a chance to maybe speak to somebody a professional about it just to still deal with it? I talk to Deco all the time, and he's yeah. like, there was no time for us to talk yeah. to anyone yeah. in yeah. our era. I I I spoke to a therapist yeah. once, mm. you know, because because they just wanted to see like where my head is at, yes. and I just had one session. And, and they were like, no, but he's okay, man. There's, yeah. there's no, Strong, there's man. no worries. Yeah. So, but it's a difficult one. I, mean, very, I guess, very I guess tough. also maybe because of maybe the reason why they're saying you're okay is you defensively as as a human being. Sometimes mm -hmm. you get into those sessions already so bad defensive. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they ask you a question it's already just yes. like, yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to get out of here. Yeah. I know what you're gonna you don't yeah. want to come back. You don't want to yeah. come back. So <laughs> I'm saying exactly what they want to hear. I, I personally just struggle with yeah. therapy. I just Me don't too, understand my friend. Yeah. why must I open up to the street. To this person yeah. Yeah. what are you writing yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and what, what are these notes you're yeah. writing? You don't know me so how can you judge yeah. me you know if I'm okay or I, not I'd rather than speak to a close friend and just be like you know it's easier to let out to a friend but and even that is a form of therapy on its own yeah, because yeah. at least there's somebody you can talk to about yeah, yeah. and you know, who knows you who knows you yeah you know? and yeah. also Vanata, do, you, do you see now the difficulties now i remember when i when my also overseas deals yes. fell off it took me two years to recover from those <sighs> so you just imagine the psychological part because mm. it plays every single day mm. yeah. because you're working so hard mm. every game that you're playing you're playing for the next one you always mm, want yes. to you know, be a better, I want to play national team. Once you taste mm. national team, I, guys, I need to go overseas. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always like that. But then when everything falls apart, to recover, you feel like now playing locally is a waste of time. Yeah. 
Yeah. Going to training now becomes like, hey, <laughs> what am I going to do there? Because mentally, and everybody is expecting you to be okay next day, you come back yeah. and train. Yeah. You're not understanding the emotions, the emotions that went through with that excitement, knowing that you're going overseas. So I just, I can just yeah. imagine, yeah. especially from an it's injury, lot. it's a lot to yeah. take in. I, I, but I think what, what has helped a little bit was when I came to Sundowns, I was out for the year. Yeah. 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 You know, so even Coach Pizzo, when he phoned me, was like, I, I know you're not going to play for a full year. Mm. And I'm willing to take the risk on you. So mm -hmm. come yeah. here, we, we, we do your rehab, mm. and then we take it from there. So that gave me a bit of time to adjust, mm. also to mentally. adjust to the club, the yeah. surroundings, yeah. Yeah. you know, and then mentally also to prepare myself and not just get straight back straight into back in it. Play. Yeah. 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 Were you aware of the injury when, I mean, when by the time they came back to you to say, listen, you have a problem here? No. You didn't know about it? No, I, I played the first game of, of of the season. Yes. And then I think by the third or fourth game. Yeah. That's when the deal was now yeah. moving fast. Yeah. Mm. You know, and I've been playing with, with no issues. I was also surprised when they phoned me and said like, because cause I remember when, when we did the, the medical. Yeah. Because we did it here in Joba. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the, the doctor and one of the managers flew they down flew, here. They flew down okay. here to, yeah. to do the medical. <coughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So we did it here. And then, so they did the, the MRIs, so yes. the ankles, the yeah. knees, the yeah. back, all that. All of that. So they did on both ankles. And after we were done with the whole body, they said we have to do the right ankle again. Okay. Because they thought the, the MRI didn't come out proper. Mm. Yeah. Like, like it wasn't clear. Yeah. Because they saw something, but they were like, okay, maybe it's, yeah. maybe it's the MRI. So we did it again and it was the same result. Yeah. And sure. so that's how. <laughs> that came about because there was no pain. There's yeah, and you nothing. Were I'm was normal. normal. Yeah, yeah. I was like, but then after you, after you have that, after those, what what did they say to you? Because I remember, I think there was some sort of headlines or some people were saying the chances are you might not even play again. Mm. Uh, that that was only if 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 I went for an operation at that time. Yes. Okay. Like, but even now, still, like, if I have to operate now. I won't be able to play at this level again. Because Jesus. they said that that bone might be healed, but the pain can be worse than okay. what it is now. Okay. And at that time, I didn't feel yeah. any, any pain. Any pain. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, no, then I might as well just sit out, you know, try and see if it heals on its own. Yeah. Okay. And it never healed on its own. So then after that, then Sundowns comes in, I guess, and then they do the deal. Yeah. Then do you go for an op? What happens then? No. The, because they, they saw the MRI. Yeah. So they, they sent it to Shannon. Yeah. This is the result. And then they were like, okay, we, we can't operate on this. Because okay. I saw about four or five specialists. Okay. So they said, to it, if I operate on this, then my career is it's done, over. basically. Yeah. yeah. So they said, okay, let's let's set out for a year. Okay. And, and see if it deals on its, on its own. own. Yeah. So we did like every three months, we did. MRI, MRI to, to see check what's happening and but then nothing changed. within the year are you also doing <laughs> rehab or yeah. what yeah i was here in the gym every day for like 10 months straight i'll go nuts bro. Do, <laughs> imagine they come I'll here every day every guys day. on the pitch yeah, yeah, yeah. every and day you're not allowed to kick gym. a ball at that stage not allowed no. Had oh a God, moon boot nuts. on for yeah, almost that's what because I thought you had gotten an operation. That's no. why you had the moon boot on for mm. almost six months. Moon boot. After that six months, there was no change in the yeah. in the fracture. Yeah. So I was like, there's no use in putting this on. So I might as well just <laughs> get rid of it, you know. And, I've been in a moon boot for like two like weeks no, and I'm no, feeling the no, same no, way. Man, yeah. <laughs> They're like six I'm weeks. Telling I'm you. like, yo, take it off <laughs> now. <laughs> no. It, yeah. I'm like, no, let we take this off, and we we just took it day by day. From yeah. There. Then it's about how do you feel? Yeah. You know, can you do this? Can you do mm -hmm. that? Then after about ten months or so, I started, you know. Yeah. Running a little bit. Yeah. And then it's just day by day from there. <laughs> it's about how you feel. That's. Uh, I mean, that's all you can yeah. go on. Yeah. If you don't feel the pain. Yeah. 
why would you and it's not healing and it's not so healing. yeah so basically you having this thing it's, it's a chronic it's you know chronic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it will never heal no it will never, it will never heal. so then so then what then i'm sure now because of that maybe with the coaches also understanding as well with the players understanding which means you know that the certain games at the level that you can play based on how you feel on the day and if you don't feel like playing on the day you can actually say guys not today is that how it is with yeah the coach? I, I know he that, wants you all the time. <laughs> Kind of gives me that leniency, okay, you know. Yeah. As to okay, if if you don't if you don't feel okay, then yeah. it's fine. But yeah. I I've never had that feeling where it has kept me out of out of a training session okay. or out okay. of a, out of a game. Okay. Yeah. But sometimes it can be difficult during the winter. Oh yeah. Mm. That that's where it's 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 at its worst. Okay. You know because it's cold. Yeah, yeah. There's already no blood flowing there. Ah. So now with the weather also. Yeah. That doesn't help. So. Do you think knowing about it mentally now also plays a part? Because when you didn't know, you were still going on like nothing is. Like nothing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. No, no, no. It does. Because now I know how to how, how to manage it. Ah, okay. Mm. You know, because I, I, like I never used to strap my ankles. Yeah. So mm. now I strap it. Okay. So if I feel like it's okay today is one of those days, yeah. I know to take okay. some some pain medication mm. for it, you know, just to settle a little bit. But sometimes it's there, you know, especially <laughs> after after a game. after a session, yeah. training mm. session, or after a game, mm. is where you you really feel it. But once you're in the game or in the session, you know that adrenaline, adrenaline gets that you. excitement, <laughs> you know, it yeah. just. I, I'm not going out here. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sticking it out. So, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Would you would you, would you say then after that period of your life, a period of your career rather, now you you back into putting on the yellow jersey now, you're playing for Mamil Sundowns, you're on the pitch. Wait, did you feel like a different player then? Because the reason is for me, I've seen you play in ice. I've seen you play here at Sundowns. Mm -hmm. We're totally two different players. The yes. maturity is still there, mm -hmm. but you're a different player yeah. altogether. Did you feel that? And now, because of you so matured, you understand your injuries, you understand your body now. Of course, it makes you a better player, but did you feel the difference? And what is the difference if somebody that never saw you play at Ajax? Uh, I think the, the changing of position, yeah. mm -hmm. first of all, mm -hmm. that, that was quite an adjustment. Yeah. You know, like since I started training with the team, I think it took about less than a month. Mm. I was playing centre back in training, mm. and then less than a month, they decided to change me to play midfield and and use me as a six in as training. Six, yeah. First. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you know that that adjustment alone, you know, it it, it changes your mindset. Yeah, because because now you you have to change the way you play. Because mm -hmm. if you play as a centre back, you know, there's no one pressing there's you no one from behind. behind. You. Yeah. you know, you get the ball, you see everything. Yeah. yeah. Now you go into midfield. It's it's hot in there. Yeah. Man, and <laughs> You're it's hot, yo, yeah. And people are pressing from behind. Yeah, you know, yeah. so you need to know where you are. Where's the space? Yeah. Where's your teammates? Yeah. You know, where's the ball? Mm. So and and that's where I think um, scanning came came into my game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because in training I was like I I don't want to lose the ball. Yeah. Yes. You know, in in the middle. Mm. You know, and I'm I'm a simple player. Yeah. Mm. You know, like. If if I face this way, I want to play mm. yeah. this way, you know. Mm. So I was like always looking. Okay, mm. someone is close to me. I know. Okay, it's one touch back, yeah. mm. and then try and see. Okay, can I open the body to receive and mm. and, mm. and face forward? But uh, yeah, I think that the, the positional change is 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 what has made me to realize that you know, and the level also. Mm -hmm. The guys you are training with, they every they day. train the way they play. Whoa. <laughs> That I know for I was sure. Like guys, <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and, and that time, that that combination of uh, sugar and, and yeah, keke, and keke. And yeah. Yeah. Ooh. like this uh, every day. I, I after my first game in midfield, I asked them, guys, how do you do this for a whole season? <laughs> yeah, I I don't know how, man. Like I was watching just the, the amount of work you have to do. Yeah, yeah. The the Beckham side, side the to side up and down, mm -hmm. and he says in his first practice. He's there trying to push because the guys are knocking the ball. Mm. And Ronaldo, they pass the ball to Ronaldo and they've got a clip of it where Ronaldo yeah, yeah, we dribbles him and then stops it and, it and watches <laughs> Beckham go past <laughs> and taps it in. Yeah, and yeah, at yeah. that stage, he's like, okay. Yeah. This I'm in a different level. Now. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, There's no pull schools here now. <laughs> no, you, you, you feel it, man. Like, yeah. Sure. But, but that, that helps you, you know. Yeah, it, it, it improves. You improve every day. Yeah. Because you play against 
probably the, the best in the, in the league. Yeah. You know, some of the best in the league. Mm. And I've always had this thing where if 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 I'm good in training, yeah, I'll be good in the game. Of course, because you train with these guys every day. Yeah. They that know how you play. They yeah, know exactly. your style. You know. So yeah. If if you can perform in training, mm -hmm. then it it should be easier in the in the game. I take it then that the move to midfield and playing in the midfield is a far much more demanding. Yeah than as a defender? No, definitely. So which one yeah. do you prefer? Uh, I've, uh, well, I've, actually, I've actually started to like midfield. Yeah. But I think my, my role now, I, I enjoy even more. Mm. Which is because more hybrid, right? Yeah. Which is, mm. you yeah. start off as a center, 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 center back, yeah, then yeah. you play as a Because center. now I, I get to do both. Yeah. Because you know, I started mm. off mm. As, as a center back, yeah. came to midfield. Now I get to do a little <laughs> bit of both. But, it, it it can be tough also. Yeah. You know, because now you have to know when to step in, when to, when to stay step. back. Yeah. You know, so. so now with, with all this, because I can feel that you're going to be a coach when you retire. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with all this knowledge that you have and the transition on, in your game and, and the longevity that you have, even though coming back from such an injury and still be playing at this level, mm -hmm. do you think that you're getting... you? You're getting the credit that you actually deserve or you think maybe you've been given an opportunity you've been celebrated the way that you think you should uh i look i, I don't pay too much attention to it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but but i feel like you know uh, a lot of people don't 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 appreciate mm -hmm. you know what i what i offer mm -hmm. but for me the thing is as long as i get that appreciation within the team mm -hmm. in the club mm -hmm. you know that, that that is the most important for me mm -hmm. because people will always have the opinions yeah. outside and for me it's all about those opinions that that matters yeah you mm -hmm. know so within the club i have that so then people outside can say what what they want to say but because because also the reason why i'm saying this is we we <coughs> it is so difficult for any player in the psl to play for more than five years yeah first of all yeah. it is very difficult yeah. and to to play more than five years and play for top teams and to stay there and play there Many people don't get recognized yeah. from that mm. because they're not understanding. Or that's why you see, Barry, there's always going to be like one season wonder, two seasons wonder, yeah. because yeah. the difficulties of staying, staying at yeah. the top. Mm -hmm. So, no, it's those who staying at the top most of the time, they'll never get recognized. That's the reason why I was asking you yeah. because I've seen you play, I've seen the growth within mm. the game, I've seen now. Okay, in Ajax, you only play long ball with your left because you're center back. Now, I've seen you play <laughs> short pass, yeah, pass, yeah. you know. You know, through balls yeah. with your left. So I've seen the growth within your game. That's why I'm asking because I see what the what the what the level of, of football is in the country. I see the style of play that most teams will want to adapt to, and yeah. I know that you're going to be part of the blueprint that you're going to use in different teams. Mm -hmm. But nobody will actually come to you and be like, "Hey, Faith, you know, oh, we try yeah. to play like this." <laughs> yeah. and you know, we get that no, a lot. No, but lot. but you see, like, uh, I, I always speak about uh, Umshishi. Yeah, mm. like. Since I came to Sundowns, and I'm, uh, and even before I was, when I was still at Ajax, like, yeah. for me the most consistent player in in the in the whole league, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, and to to come and see what he does mm. every day, how he trains, you know, mm. his, his attitude, mm. like that just wraps off on you. Yeah. you know, like mm. if you if you really want to make it, mm. then I think that is one guy that you you should look at, yeah. you mm. know, if you want to have longevity, because. Yeah. At, I don't know when he's he off game. I mean, that yeah. guy. <laughs> and, and his it's work so ethic, amazing. man. Like, yeah, it's insane. it's amazing to hear this because Neo Miami came here and said the same thing. He said, I used to watch this guy, but when I started to train with him, I was like, yeah. he's insane. It's, it's, it's different. Yeah. Like you see him from a distance yeah. when mm -hmm. you play against him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's different to training with, with him. him every day. Like, no, man, <laughs> I'm telling you. No, he's insane. Yes. How, how much time did you then have to put in um, to your game? Because now you've moved to a new position and you need to master it and become better at it. And not only kick out with the left, but also be able to pass <laughs> with the right mm -hmm. and shift. How much more time did you have to put in outside of just team practice? W how much more extra work do you need to do to then become better at doing those things? No, actually not much. It was more about uh, watching videos. Yeah. You know, because if you see what what type of style the team wants to play, yeah. mm -hmm. and then maybe we play 4-3-3, mm -hmm. or we play 
uh, what Coach Pizzo, we played 4-4-2 four, four, mostly. Yeah. So it's two men in midfield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then you, you would watch teams that play with a two-man midfield. Mm -hmm. So you'd watch this one player, like, mm -hmm. maybe you'll tell, okay, do, do this and that for me. So you watch it and like, okay, I need to play similar to this guy. Yeah. And then you, you, t you come the next day to training and you're like, okay, I've, I saw this, so I have to try mm. and see if I can implement that yeah. in my game. Yeah. I think what makes it difficult then, I guess, for the next guy in line is if you are talented and hardworking, mm. you, I mean, no one's going yeah. to catch you. Yeah. I, yeah. Unlike, because most of the time, the problem we have is the talented guys don't want to work hard. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but also, but also, to, also up to just to add on that, you need to be talented and be able to work hard and yes. to be able to be coachable. Yeah, because then you need to allow your game to grow yeah. every time. And yeah. also, there's 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 a lot of habits that you have as a footballer yeah. that you don't want to let go. Yeah. <laughs> you need to be open minded to let go of certain things. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember when I came to Sundowns, I had to let go of dribbling Ish. because at the Ish. time at Sundowns there was a lot of wing play, speedy, but there was no body that could play the role that I was playing in the midfield. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm going to play as simple as possible. Yeah. yeah. Now I started appreciating players that are playing simple. So when I watch international games, I watch Alonso, I watch Xavi, I watch mm. Iniesta. So and I started finding this uniqueness in playing simple. So yeah. it's even today, like I prefer players that are playing because it's the most difficult thing to yeah. do. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah. It's so yeah. difficult to play yeah. simple. Yes. I, was, yeah. I was laughing the other day. I was watching clips of uh, Biscuits playing in America. Yeah, and it's like the scanning no, he's thing, taking right? where he receives the ball he's and he's scanning. He's, and he's like, pissed. "Why is there nobody marking me?" Yeah. Like, <laughs> and he's so <laughs> used to yeah. 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 pressure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So oh, no, a lot no, of no. the time, he's getting the ball and he's like, no, "Where, no, where are these people? Why yeah. are they not here?" I, I, I think pe people look at, at your style of play, yeah. your, your your body orientation mm -hmm. and all that. So if if I play against a midfielder that's always body open, mm -hmm. facing forward, mm -hmm. and I'm far away from him. I, yeah. I also won't go press him. Mm -hmm. You know, but if his body is closed and he's facing his own goals, mm. you, can then press you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's, it's a pressing trap, you know. Yeah. So I think that, that that's what makes it easier. Scanning, yeah. body orientation. Yeah. If you know where you are, then. That brings me to my next one. I mean, now you've lived in an era where it was formations of 4-3-3, four, 4-4-2 four, three, three, four, four, and so forth. Yeah. But now we're moving into a new generation and a new dynamic of mm. schemes more yes. than mm. that. So mm. how, how yeah. difficult is it then to adapt or rather move to this next and new phase and learn about the, the, the new ways of playing? Uh, for, for me, not, not, not as much, yeah. you know, because I've played in, in both yeah. positions that I'm doing now, you know, yeah. with the hybrid role. Yeah. Um, I think it's more complicated going further forward, yeah. mm -hmm. especially the, the front guys, because yeah. mm -hmm. there's a lot of detail, Yeah, you know, because sometimes we'll start in this certain formation, but then in possession, mm -hmm. you go there, mm -hmm. that this is how you move. Mm -hmm. Out of possession, <laughs> that, that, this is how you move. Those right? are schemes. <laughs> yeah. That, no, yeah. it is. Like, it, it's, it's a lot of learning. It's yeah. a lot of stuff to yeah, take no, in yeah. as well. You, you have to be open and like take us it. Uh, you, you have to be coachable. Mm. If if you really want to fit into into the way we're playing now, it, if you're not coachable, like, uh, you won't, won't you won't, won't even get a chance to play. And you know? also, like it sounds very difficult, but also, but if you if you look at the football as its entirety, when you lose the ball as a midfielder, mm. you need to assume rightful position. Yeah. Mm. To 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 make sure that maybe you don't give the opposition an opportunity. Because mm. people, when I started playing. As a young age, but that time is like a long time ago. Yeah. As a midfield, as a six, they always used to play a guy that could kick. Yes. You need to be hard, strong, yeah, this, yeah. this. Then the time goes on, then you start playing playmakers as a six. Mm. So now, but now you don't take also, which means now your best thing is you're using your brain. You're closing mm. passing lines. Yes. Mm. You're forcing them to go out so that you can defend less in the midfield. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, so it's still the same thing, but it's just that maybe the demands are a little bit more. Yeah. Maybe a little more quicker. When you don't have the ball, you need to be in the square. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you see most of the teams that you train, there's you know, um, spaces where we need to be yeah. occupied yeah. with yeah. the ball or without the ball. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just that you know, it comes back to being coachable, adapting to yeah. new, your ways of new doing ways. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I it's think my, my transition helped because... As a six, my first instinct was to cover, to mm. protect the, the, the two centre backs. Because mm. so you played I, as yeah, a centre back. Yeah. <laughs> so, so <laughs> this is I, the protection I, yeah, I needed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. so, so I would always tell my six to do this. You yeah. know? So yeah. when, when I had the chance to play in midfield, I was like, okay, I wanted 
my six to play that way. Ah. So I, I'm going to do that, you yeah. know, for, for them. So I always try to stay close to the center backs first. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, then you, you can move, you, you can move forward, yeah. you know, like, but for me as a midfielder, I always wanted to be behind the ball. Yeah. I don't want to be beaten, you know, like I'm yeah, on the yeah. other side, yeah, you yeah. know, like I'm behind the ball first. And then from there I can, you know, de defend forward. Yeah. 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 I get what well, I hear. Yeah. Like even when I was a ten, I struggled with my eights uh -huh. because I wanted to receive the balls in between the lines, but I didn't have an eight that could pass me that way. Mm. So when I when I started playing as an eight, mm. when there's a ten in that position, yeah. that's the first option yeah. Yeah. because I wanted to receive those balls yes. in that way. So I understand when he says now when I because I played as a centre back, yeah. I wanted my six to do this. Yeah. So it's it's just that you're doing certain things that you know that if you in that position you'll appreciate it yes. so that's why when i pass you the yeah. ball yeah i'll pass you the ball for you to to make it easy for you yeah, yeah. not because the people must say i've got a completed pass but i pass yeah. you on the neck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I'd yeah. Play, but it's a complete pass yeah. no. control it no no yeah. it's pass you nicely yeah. so i understand exactly what you're saying yeah. so w if you weren't playing as maybe would you be able to maybe play as a nine if it was required the team said hey, man, the fourth nine probably yes we need you uh, there yeah, there. yeah. Remember Langaman, I don't know, just put me there. Yeah. <laughs> that one is insane. Really. I don't know, put me there. And he, used, yeah. and he played as a striker. Yeah. 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 He played as a striker. Even, yeah, there were a couple of guys yeah. that could speed away. Like, yeah. okay, we need speed up top. Go and play. You are always there. <laughs> put me there, you know, coach. Balls behind. To see. And that, yeah, that combination of, of him and Keke, you yes. know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I contact, we know, okay, you are He's going gone, behind. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, yeah, no, it's. it's any of them. It's enjoyable, man. Like, no, I can, can imagine. There's a lot of knowledge I've seen. And, you know, even when you listen to the interviews of like Coach Rulani, I'm like, yo, a lot of people will get dribbled just listening to the talk <laughs> yeah. that he puts out. But I also realize that one of the other coaches has now started um, doing his interviews like Rulani, Coach Rulani. So Coach Rulani will start off with saying, congrats to the team, congrats. Yeah. And then I heard another coach do it that way. And then the presenter, Fiso, yeah. said, uh, Rula, no, sorry, not Coach Rulani, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with this question. Yeah. So I'm like, the influence has also yeah. been it's, uh, it's been yeah, amazing. No. And, and I would like also Coach Rulani to be aware of it. Yeah. That the, the, the schemes that he speaks about, the system, whatever the mm. case might be, other coaches will try to do that. So it's his yeah. job and responsibility mm. to keep growing. Mm. And when people try to play Mamdou Sundown's way, it shouldn't be. He shouldn't be mad at that. No. Yeah. He should understand that he has set this trend. And it's been a while since we ever had a coach that people want to copy. Yeah. yeah. But go to those days, because if you're not for not, in my, in my, in my entire life, the coach that I know that made such an impact in South African football was Coach Ted Dimitri. Mm. Every team that he coached mm. was this, this, mm. this, this. So, mm. so I knew that we, when, yeah. when everybody speaks about Ted Dimitri, uh, Ted Dimitri mm. they speak about football. And so now you speak about Coach Rulan. Okay, Coach Peter's this. Yeah. Pa, 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 yeah, out. Yeah, you know, Coach Rulan now, it's schemes, it's this. Yeah. So, so whatever that is doing, it's working. And other coaches, if they pick it up, it's only good for South African football. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that that's one of the things he said uh, during preseason, mm. yeah. especially in Holland. Mm. Yeah. You know, he said he, he knows that the, there will be teams that will try and copy what, what we did last season, yeah. Yeah. you know, in terms of formation, the diamond mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. So now it's up to us now. We, are, we have to change now. Elevate. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not our job to, to drop the level mm -hmm. or stay yeah. the same, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, if they want to catch up to us, they have to raise the level even higher, you know, yeah. because we're going to raise the level from exactly. last season. From last so, season, yeah. Yeah. Having been at, at the team as long as you have now, uh, what is your p fondest memory of being on the road? Because I've, I've heard the complaints of uh, KK was telling us about the one time where they had a 14 hour bus trip mm. um, going to where they were going to play because there were no flights to that part of, of the country and they had to drive through war zones to get there. Lumumbash. Well, yeah, Lumumbash. <laughs> <laughs> People were hiding behind the trees. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> going for number I two. Think, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, it, it, most of the time it's it's uh, traveling to Africa. Man. Yeah, like for, there are some <laughs> countries like it's not even that far, but mm. it it takes so long man, yeah. to to mm. get there, and it's it's training, you know, because yeah. that okay. But, uh, at the beginning with Coach Pizza, we used to travel a week before, mm. you know, mm. but now be, because of our congested fixtures, yeah. you know, you don't have 
yeah. a full week, you mm. know, to go there and, and acclimatize, and acclimatize and so forth, to, yeah. to the weather and mm. the conditions, you know. So now, like, you try to find the quickest way, but still it's not <laughs> quick enough, you know, to, <laughs> to, to get there. Because sometimes you arrive, you only have match day minus two yeah. and then match day minus one and yeah. then it's the game. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's, you arrive there, it's match day minus one. Mm. You can't train that day. Mm. No. Oh, match day minus two. Yeah, but and you're used to the hot weather. Hey, in Uppington. Yeah, Uppington. I've seen yeah, the numbers there in Uppington. Yeah. Hey, 38. 38 on but a normal but day. But I'm like, ah, it's a cool day yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> but I left there at what age? Very early. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I, I, I don't, I'm not used to playing in that in weather, weather anymore. Sure. So I, and I've been in Cape Town for what, five, five years, I think. Yeah. So then you come this side now, yeah. But when you were in Tanzania, mm. oh, <laughs> telling you, man, no ways. <laughs> and you're playing on turf also. <laughs> it's hot there, yeah. 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 But at least the, the Copas is helping, man. The Copas, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not as hot, you know, as, as these new boots. So yeah. yeah. That, that helps a little the bit. Old no. school boots. The old school. Yeah. <laughs> I was surprised to see you wearing the yes, old school. I also thought they were heavier. Are they not heavier no. than the... No, no they're lighter. Yeah. Are they lighter? No, but it's just they change shape heavy. very quickly yeah. Yeah. because of the leather. For me, when I started playing, ah. they change shape. Once yeah. it rains, mm. put them in the sun, and, ah, the leather now is like oh. this. <laughs> Tomorrow now, it's... But, but uh, yeah, I was very surprised yeah, to see tough. that. I've got uh, a friend who, um, <laughs> he's... I don't want to say he's into big brands mm. because he buys the knockoffs, right? But wow, names. he can't wear. No, let me tell you, he can't wear it more than two times. What the, the cop? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. The, the sh- so the he shoes. buys sneakers okay. or whatever yeah. because he buys the knockoffs. Okay. After two wears, it's it changes yeah. shape. Changes <laughs> shape. It's a changing color. <laughs> hey, yeah. whoever you are, Navy is watching. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the Copas are still, they, they, they're yeah. still holding they're still holding on. You know, on. it was just tough after that Stellenbosch game. Yeah. Because it was raining and yeah, it was yeah, wet. Yes. Hey, uh, second half, when it came out, yeah. I was walking and I see just foam coming out yeah. of the boot. <laughs> <laughs> So the next day we were doing a uh, region. I I told them, ah, guys, I only have this pair. I, I can't put on boots. I'm going to stay with techies. <laughs> He needed yeah, Coach Pizzo for that one. <laughs> Stop the whole training session. Can I yeah. ask you this? Because you said that you haven't been home in such a long, long time. Mm-hmm. So now, what are you planning to do um, to just inspire those who, who from a place like yours, who sees you and who can also be proud? Like, um, if he can make it from our hometown, I can. it, it is very possible for me to as well to do it. Yeah. What do you plan on doing home? It's such a big I, responsibility yeah, to give someone. I, I, yeah. I, I haven't <laughs> I haven't thought about it. Look yeah. the what what everyone is doing is organize tournaments yes. at home, you yeah. know. Uh, maybe bring a scout or two. Mm. Uh, maybe some few few of your teammates, mm. you know. Yeah. yeah. But uh it's tough, man. But uh you you try to help as much as you can like with with my team uh, Kakoma Sundowns mm. now. They were here uh, when we played Swallows mm-hmm. in the MTN8. Mm. So they came to play a friendly against our MDC. Yeah. Okay. And then afterwards, they, they, they got to go to the game to watch mm-hmm. against the game. Swallows. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you, you try to do those things. You know, yeah. Not just tournaments. Are, I think it's, it's very easy to, to, do. to mm. organize something. What is it that you're doing different? Mm. Yeah, like you, you try to find something different. Yeah. And to be honest, I haven't found anything that you know, is is far different from what most of the guys yeah. are, are mm. doing now. Yeah. But it's just to to have that relationship, mm-hmm. you know, between between Mamalori Sundowns and Kakama Sundowns. Mm-hmm. You know, try to give them that exposure. Mm-hmm. You know, bring them here, mm-hmm. see how these young boys are are going about uh, their business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and because I see how you can yeah, copy from that yes, side because now you just see the professional setup. Mm. You know, and you're like, okay, I want to be there. I want to do that, mm-hmm. but you don't know the steps and you don't see how difficult it is, you know, mm-hmm. to, to come through mm-hmm. the like the academy, especially the channels. It's very difficult yeah. to, to, to get promoted, you know. So it it's just to, to show them that this is where the hard work starts. It's mm-hmm. not just coming you see on TV, oh nice wearing nice clothes and <laughs> all these things. Like there no there's hard <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there's hard work going on, you yeah. know, because 
you have to start somewhere. Yeah. Of course. But uh, the, the opportunities are not there yeah. for us that side. Yes. You know, there, there's not much exposure. And you, you try to, to implement something where you can say, okay, like, yeah. you can bring yeah. a few to say, just train, maybe train with a MDC or whatever, and yeah. Vodacom team, train a little bit. You don't have to get signed. You know? yeah. like I guess when, when you come from a place where there's like zero opportunities, any any gap, I mean, I'm talking something as simple as coming to Joburg, getting to play against a Sundowns MDC, going to a PSL match, because yeah. not everybody can say, I've yeah. gone to the stadium to watch yes. a PSL match, mm. is already an experience and a half true, for you, true. because you come from, there's nothing there, yeah. there is no... Um, games that are being played or televised yeah. and that sort of I, thing. I, I never had that opportunity yeah. be, before going to yeah. the national team. Yeah. That's where I got a little bit of exposure. Yeah. But I never had that opportunity. <laughs> so now you try and, and, and give to them, you know, what yes. you, never yeah, had you never had to try and see if it makes it easier for them to to get to that level. To learn. You know, and and maybe that's maybe even surpass me. Stadium, that power line stadium. Hey. Uh, is that 24 now? Guys. You know, some guy says, some, some guy says I was part of that power line yes, team, yes. but I was not. No. Yeah. no. You were just no. injured for that no. game. Yeah, he was injured for that game. <laughs> no, you I know was, when you just get no, to see, hey, this uh, one's going to be tough, uh, this one. Uh, hey, coach, no, hamstring. No, no. no, I was not. But I, I was fortunate enough to play once in Kimberley, yeah, in the net bank with, yeah. with Ajax. Okay, so at least and your family got to come and see. Yes, him yeah. so nice. it, uh, and then also the people that you grow up with, you know, friends, mm. they they have an opportunity to see you playing live, you know, because yeah. it's different to playing amateur football yeah. at home, and now you are in this professional That's setup, and now yeah. you know, so yeah. that that was a nice experience. In the end, where do you want to settle down? You're gonna go back to uh, I don't know. No. I don't think you're gonna go no. back. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, even let me finish. Uh, uh, she said no, 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 no. no, no. And I, is he? No, it's it, it's gonna be either here in Joburg or Cape Town. Or I Cape think. Town. Yeah, yeah. Because you've been here for so long as well. Because now you've yeah. created a life here. Yeah. No, I I think I'm leaning more towards. So what's Yeah, yeah, I That's think I might settle down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, Riva, thank yeah. you very much for your time. We really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so much knowledge. I think there's still yeah. more we can get out of you. Um, but I appreciate you just being able to come here and open up to us, talk about us uh, through your injuries and everything that you've been through. And I uh, really appreciate it. Mm. No, th thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the Pitchside uh, Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe, yeah. like, and leave your comments. Hola.